Hi and welcome to Eclipse tutorial of how to develop RAM buttons. The tutorial also cover how to embed JAR files onto Eclipse. So this is what I've done so far. And I even enter a rollover. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take you guys straight into Eclipse and we put one of these together. So let's do that now. Okay, we're going to be starting a new project in Eclipse, so let's click on OK. Now that Eclipse is ready, what we need to do is to go to File, Select New, Java, Projects. Right in there, let's enter a name, I'm just going to call it Run Buttons. That's the name of my file. I've just copied that, so I'm going to click on Finish. and just need to call me and make sure our project is ready run buttons there we go okay the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click on this run button go to new right in there I'm gonna select order and right in order we should be able to see a folder called window builder drop it down and inside window builder we should be able to see another folder called swing designer drop that down and let's select jframe right there click on next and let's give that a name the package i'm going to call the package round and name okay just going to get rid of that and get rid of that so that's the name and let's click on finish right this is the source code and in here the design that is where we find our frame right there so click on that there we go that's our frame now that the frame is ready all we need to do now is let's go into the source code right there we can just change the dimension of this i want to change that to three one thousand three hundred and sixty and let's make this eight hundred i will also change this coordinates to zero by zero okay which means it will start right from the far left so if i run it now this is what you see click there Okay, so let's close that. Now, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to go back to the frame itself. I just need to come straight into this palette right here. Let's grab a button. That's my button there. But before that, I think I'm going to change. I'm going to undo. Let's come back in here and just undo do that or right click no problem we can just right click on that frame and change the layout to absolute layer then I can then take care of my button that's my button right there so that's the button I intend to use something about that size okay I can even copy it control C copy bring it down paste it right there so those are the buttons I intend to use. And let's even put another one. Okay, let's copy another one, paste it there. So this very one, I'm gonna change the size to about 200 by 200. Okay, it's now 200. Let's go inside the code. Or oh, we can even do that here anyway. Sorted 200 by 200. There, yeah, about that. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna need a couple of those. Let's say I need about four. Let's copy that, paste one here. All right, so let's copy these buttons as well How about that let's 
just copy this and paste them right underneath here there if I run my program now this is what you guys will see it's just an ordinary square buttons that's it okay so this tutorial is all about converting these very buttons to rounded buttons so let's exit from there so to achieve that what we need to do is we need to go on maybe google and let's download the following file okay let's go to google now and right in here i'm going to enter j tattoo that's the name of the file we need that's it right there okay and just this very one click on that that is it right. click on that very file and just download it there the file is now saved in my own area so i'm going to i'm going to close that or minimize that let me open up where my file is so that you can see it and right here that's my j tattoo there okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is I will now go straight inside this the project file is right here can you see that right click on it and you select the properties the properties now that you're in properties go to java build parts and right in here you need to add external jazz click in there all right now go to wherever you have your J tattoo this is where mine is and click on open make sure it's selected then click on open right there click on apply before you click on apply let me show it to you guys look here there's nothing there now but if I click on apply what you will see is the reference library alright then click on OK. That's it, the reference library right there. OK. Now, right inside the reference library, you should be able to see the J tattoo itself that we just downloaded. OK. So, the next thing we want to do is come straight inside the code right here. OK. You need this line of code just one single line of code right there that's the line of code that you need so I'm gonna copy that as you can see it's a UI manager dot sets look and find and you just enter all of this okay com j tattoo dot black and so on so I'm gonna copy that close that I don't need that anymore alright so now let's go straight up here into where we have public static void main right there press enter and paste your line of code there right away you will get an error okay so click on that error to get it sorted now you want to import UI manager you can always type that as well now you get another error so you we have to import four trues so click and import all of the four all of the trues okay add trues add trues declaration if I click on that and there we go all of my declarations are there one two three four there they are okay you can see class not find exception instantiation exception legal assets exception unsupported look and find exception those are the truths and you can also see there be a one two three four all commented here that's all there is to it so if I run my program now click on OK there we go all my buttons are now rounded buttons so if you want to modify your buttons and so on you can always modify it the way you saw 
on the previous one so let's modify one or two of those buttons or let's select it all here select all of those buttons alright then let's change the font size to about 20 right there make that bold yeah all changed okay we now want to change the content on each of those buttons I'm gonna change that to let's go for Canada right there maybe you have we have a couple of those in here I think that is wrong I think it's 10 something like that yeah right that's wrong as well Nigeria let me put my country Nigeria right now that we have those ones in there I'm just going to show you one or two I would not be doing it all so but if I run it this is how it's going to look like for now okay so back into the program so what I want to do is I'm going to use the mouse enter and mouse leaves so let's come in here right click let's select maybe we just do it for two countries alone right click on maybe South Africa on right right click on South Africa go to add events right in there go to mouse mouse enter there the mouse enter what you want to do is the button that is called South Africa undo that I just want to copy South Africa alone copy right in there enter South Africa dot let's say BT set txt text So I'm going to set that to Cape, Cape Town right there and the other thing is I uh, also want to change the font so we can change the font right away I can just copy this is that all the font of South Africa I think it's right down here yeah I can copy that right there and just change it to South Africa then we need to change the front to about 30 there and um, what about the back color let's change the back color of South Africa to dots back color let's change that to color Dots, maybe gray or whatever, right there. So that's the color I'm changing it. I'm just gonna copy that. Now let's go back in there. Now right click on South Africa again. I'm coming to add event, event enter. Let's come straight into mouse event, mouse exited. 
paste that in there and just change everything back this one become 20 and this become the color of this become light gray and this become South Africa there so if I run it let me close that so that you guys see how it's done this is how it's done this is mouse enter mouse entered and mouse exited let's click on that right there mouse leaves mouse enter mouse leaves mouse enter okay you see how it's done that's easy so you guys can repeat the same thing but the main idea is how to put a run button and import the jar files so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now